soon um gonna be joined by a great guy introduction introduction <clears throat> probably gonna cut in like right now and I'm, I'm shooting this off again so that hopefully i can use this as the microphone uh forgot my wireless microphones in an undisclosed area but uh yeah we got a high school right now check it when's the last time you ever saw lockers you know what i'm saying i haven't seen lockers in a long time but here they are, folks. All right, let's go to the gym. Let's run track at this particular school. There it is, gym two. So it's uh, absolutely nostalgic. There we go. It smells terrible. Tune into my new video. Why I do what I do. The story of Flex. For the full workout. This is your host, Dr. Fleck, coming to you live from a place near you. See, uh, I got this young gentleman right here who's been suffering from. Oh, uh, ankle injuries, just anything uh, related with the, the foot, really. Uh, bunion, you know, stuff like that. But mostly the ankle right now. Uh, okay. Appreciate uh, you, doctor. <laughs> so predominantly, we will start with myofascial release. He's already done his lacrosse ball rolls, right? Plenty of videos on that already on the internet. But So this is actually some B-roll for my ankle warm-up rehab, and I guess tendinopathy. Tune in to fix plantar fasciitis, ankle pain, and more instantly. On my channel now for the full breakdown and methodology on how to prepare your tissues for life. Right, plantar flex, dorsi flex, and I'm gonna let it sit there for an extended period of time until the pain dissipates. Then I'm going to move only one inch exact same thing until 3D wise you have confront you have confronted every single aspect of your calf or your foot in this particular case right but we're talking about the ankle in this video so proximally closest to the ankle which would be the foot you handle that but also a little bit more distally definitely handle that as well because tightness within the gastrocnemius and the soleus which is a little bit deeper in and the anterior tip, right, can all lead to restricted mobility. And if you cannot, you know, if you cannot evert or invert, etc., your ankle in certain directions, how are you supposed to do it at max speed at your championship game when everything is on the line? Same thing with our feet. And we're pushing it into terminal flexion, just a finger. And your partner could help you do this as well if it hurts too much. And we're gonna breathe and listen to the trees, listen to the birds outside. You're not only focusing on the pain, you're trying to relax the nervous system so that the confirmation is just a little bit deeper. And that's gonna help you access a lot more ranges and make you a better athlete. Per usual, 
I'm going to be attacking this like I'm giving a presentation to a bunch of highly intelligent students. So feel free to take your notes so that you can really grasp the concepts of these prehab drills and realize how much of a benefit you can bring to your life by introducing these movements into your movement plan or your warm-ups. So we're going to be discussing low intensity lateral plyometrics with mini bands around the knees and the use of bands during warm-ups to prime for side to side movement. Also, we're going to dive into the molecular and anatomical details of the ankle and foot complex and the benefits of multiplanar resisted toe points. Low intensity lateral plyometrics involve side to side movements that are not performed at a low intensity, obviously. And the whole goal is to enhance your agility, your balance, and your stability. When mini bands are placed around your knees during these exercises, the benefits are magnified due to the resistance and the specific activation of the lower limb musculature. From an anatomical perspective, first I'm gonna talk about knee joint stabilization. So mini bands provide a lateral resistance that requires the activation of the hip abductors primarily the glute medius and minimus, which play a crucial role in stabilizing the knee joint during lateral movements. They're your prime movers and they're extremely strong. And the added resistance ensures that these muscles are actively engaged. There's a mind and body connection and this will promote better knee stability and reduce the risk of your injuries. Additionally, there's a lot of enhanced proprioception hence the mind and body connection. The lateral plyometrics with the mini bands enhance the body's ability to sense its position in space without you needing to use your eyes in order to find out exactly where your body is. The resistance from the mini bands increases the demand on the proprioceptive system, particularly in the ankle and foot complex. And this improved proprioception translates to better balance and coordination. Additionally, the lateral movements engage the muscles of the ankle and the foot, including the peroneus longus and brevis, which are essential for lateral stability. The resistance from the mini bands also activates the intrinsic muscles of the foot, contributing to a stronger and more stable foot arch. So that's from an anatomical perspective, but from a molecular perspective, right, which is the smallest detail, cellular level. Let's talk about collagen synthesis. These repetitive low intensity lateral movements stimulate the production of type 1 collagen fibers within the tendons and the ligaments of the ankle and foot. Collagen synthesis is crucial for the strength and the resilience of these connected tissues. And by this method, you end up reducing the risk of your sprains and strains. Additionally, on a molecular level, the resistance provided by the mini bands enhances neuromuscular adaptations, including improved motor unit recruitment and synchronization. And this results in a more efficient muscle contraction and better overall performance during your lateral movements. All of this to say, the proprioception makes you more comfortable with taking a step to the left or the right. You're more cognizant and your body automatically is more cognizant of your lateral movements. Note that it's normally during lateral movements that people end up rolling their ankle. So in order to bulletproof yourself and prevent you from rolling your ankle, your mind and your body has to be prepared for these lateral movements. So part of the reason why we're warming up with these side to side movements again is to warm up and activate the hip adductors, the hip flexors, the glute muscles, and also add a little bit of lubrication, right? The synovial fluid production in the joints, particularly in your hips, knees, and ankles, reduces friction. And by this mechanism, improves your joint mobility so that you can get into deeper end ranges a lot easier and quicker. The increased blood flow 
and increased circulation delivers more oxygen and nutrients to the muscles, improving their function and readiness for activity. At this point in time, you've seen us do a couple of reps with these multi-planner resisted toe points. And you're probably wondering like, why, why am I, why am I pulling on this resistant band while he's doing this activity? Well, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, as well as inversion and eversion are all very important and rudimentary, simple movements that need to occur outside of the global system so that you can focus on bringing hypertrophy and muscle size and strength on a more localized level. The resistance applied during the toe points engage the intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of the foot and ankle. This includes the tibialis anterior, gastrinemius, soleus, the small muscles within the foot. And therefore, strengthening these muscles enhances the structural integrity of the foot and ankle improving stability and performance from a molecular level again there's an adaptation to this pointing of the toe and retraction of the toe right so pointing dorsiflexing stimulates the production of collagen and other extracellular matrix proteins within the tendons and this molecular adaptation enhances tendon stiffness and strength, which is critical for efficient force transmission and injury prevention. These toe points also offer a lot more localized blood flow, right? The angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood vessels, actually brings blood into certain pockets of the ankle that might not be exposed simply because you are not challenging the ankle foot complex 100% on a daily basis or even during certain athletic movements just because you might not ever need to hit a particular angle in your sport but by improving your ability to resist the pull of the resistance band you can train the lower limb to resist forces contrary to the direction that you would like to go so during an ankle roll you most likely do not know where your foot is in space However, at the same time, you are also trying to go in a direction that you want to go to. These are two conflicting ideals. And I'm not saying that you will be able to rid yourself of this certain situation all of the time. But by introducing these multi-planar toe points, the tendon, ligament, and muscle structures within your lower limbs statistically wise would have been exposed to every conceivable position right i think that is the best way to bulletproof yourself statistically expose your tissues to every single angle and suboptimal position with resistance and then scale up from there what i mean by that is currently we were using the resistance band which happens to be red let's say that it's 20 pounds of resistance at full tension as lower limb complex gets stronger then you scale up either in number of reps degree slash angle of end range or simply the weight of the resistance band you interact with all these small lower limb muscles the same way you would interact with the chest muscles when you're trying to build your chest and increase your bench press 
or the same way you would interact with your glute muscles when you're trying to develop a stronger, heavier squat. And by approaching your lower limb complex with a hypertrophy slash strength mindset, you can increase the size of the complex and the strength. Mobility, in my opinion, comes a lot easier than those two. So focus on hypertrophy and strength, and then leave a comment below if you would like some mobility drills. Because that's, in my opinion, a lot easier. A couple of distractions, meaning using the resistance band to articulate and change the dynamics of the joint capsules which make up your joints is a lot easier than trying to double the size of your lower limb muscles or increase your rep range capacity from simply five resisted toe points to a hundred resistant resistance toe points increasing your rep range is a slow but crucial process and as we age it becomes ever more necessary load management is always key folks you do not have to go 100 percent maximum intensity all the time thank you for tuning in this is your host dr flex coming to you live from a place near you honestly because this youtube video is literally five 12 inches from your face probably Right? Unless if you're watching this on a TV or something like that, like I'm literally right in front of you. Your fingers are inches away from asking me any questions that are necessary and any questions that happen to pop into your mind. So feel f free to drop a comment below. More videos on the way. Of course, let's get to a million subscribers. We're at a thousand six hundred so far right now, and I am feeling extremely blessed because a thousand people are regularly interested on what I have to say. That's that's beautiful. And I pray that I am distributing the information that I have at the highest quality possible so that you guys can learn something and become better individuals. I love you so much. Have a great day. Bye.